Yo. Court. Alright. Fuck it is, man. It's big L's of this bitch, you heard me. You niggas bad or no. Nah. Real quick, bro, because we about to get straight to the beans and rice. I'm talking about straight to the beans and rice. Look, let the record show that this is not a safe place. The truth is out here. All my words got squad rights. Bro, bro, niggas got to stop what they doing. I'm just going to keep it a bean with you. I vote. You, you got to stop what you're doing, bro. Disrespectfully, you you gotta stop what you're doing. You feel me? Like you are, bro. You a dirty dug, bro. For real, like yo, avocado is a dirty dug. You a dirty nigga, bro. And like I don't even, yo, I don't even understand like why these battle rap niggas be putting so much trust and faith in you in the first place. Seriously, I I just don't get it, bro. I don't understand why they like you so much, bro. Why they fuck with you so much? Now you've been exposed. The most high exposed you, bro. God is real. You're going to find out real soon that God is real. If, and listen, if I'm a battle rapper in the battle rap community, got my own league, you feel me? I be using this nigga to film my events. I'm going to keep it a bean with you. I, I got to look at you from the side eye now. Like, I like for real, like if you do, if you would do that to Hitman Holler, and I'm Geechee Gotti, what what the fuck would you do to me? You feel me? Like I can't trust you, bro. I just, I just can't. But I'm about to put Shorty on the grill. I'm about to put Shorty on the grill. But first, I want just so, just in case some of y'all, you feel me? Like y'all not in the loop. Y'all don't know what, what I'm talking about. What's happening right now? I'm gonna give y'all the backstory, like real quick synopsis, real quick. All right, so Hitman did bags and bodies, right? He, he went on a little tour, you know, he found all the contestants, put them in a house, they filmed the shit, battles happened, shit was lit, you feel me? Now, he created a channel, channel probably ain't had no subscribers, I'm pretty sure he was promoting it a little bit, you know, subscribe to the Bags and Body channels if y'all want to see the battles when they drop, bit, bit, bop, boom, had the channel, now, he was trying to, he was, I'm, I'm pretty sure he was using Ivo, to do all the uh, the technical work, you feel me? All the shit dealing with technology, you feel me? Like, all right, like I'm gonna pay you just to upload the videos. That's that's all I need you to do. You feel me? Because if I'm not mistaken, I think I think Avocado filmed it, so he probably already had it for the show. He was like, okay, yeah, you feel me? I'm gonna compensate you to upload it, right? I need you to put it on my channel, Bags and Bodies. We need to build this channel up. You feel me? We like we we gotta build this up. So I need you to upload the videos to Bags and Bodies. Okay. I'm pretty sure Avocado act like he attempted to do it, but the whole time he came up with a master plan. You feel me? He was probably thinking like, yo, bags and bodies, like, this shit is going nuts. Like, this shit is lit right now. Like, everybody's talking about this. It's trending. Like, these battles going to be big. You feel me? Like, even, even niggas who ain't even got big names. Like, 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 what, what, what's the nigga name? Bro, it's, bro, a few of them niggas didn't, like, they first hundred, first time they ever got a hundred thousand views. You feel me? Like, if the bags and body stamp wasn't on it, it wouldn't have got 100,000 views, you feel me? So, I'm pretty sure Avocado was, you feel me? Like, he was in tune, you know, so he probably came up with a master plan, like, look, all right, I'm ready to make up a whole lot. I'm going to figure out a way to put it on my channel, you feel me, and not his. So, boom, he come back, he spin a block, come back, oh, all right, Hitman Howard, uh, your page ain't working. You feel me? Hitman not knowing too much about the YouTube shit. You feel me? Like, he don't probably upload videos on YouTube. I mean, he was doing probably the, vault, the vlog shit with his girlfriend. It was probably, he probably hired somebody up to edit the videos and upload it on that YouTube channel. You feel me? He, he think it probably be too busy. Like, when you getting that kind of money, you ain't upload no videos. I mean, I would if it was me, but he's probably not that type. You feel me? So, he don't know too much about it. So, when a nigga saying, like, it ain't ready yet. He don't, he don't even, like, he don't even understand, like, that language don't even make sense. What do you, you gotta be more specific. It ain't ready yet. What, what do you mean? What the fuck do I gotta wait to be ready? But he, so he just was like, okay, it ain't ready. All right, so just put it on your channel, and then when it's ready, we're gonna upload the rest. So, of course, Alvo, you feel me, probably was happy as a bitch, you feel me, smiling inside, like, yes, got him, like, fucking evil genius he is, right? So, boom, we got him. Then... Okay, Hitman Holler, like, all right, boom, that did hella views. All right, look, bro, let's try this again, bro. I need to put this battle on the Bags and Body channel. 
Got you. Oh, it still ain't ready. It's not letting me upload the videos. Now, I I'm mad at I'm going to keep it a bang with you, bro. I I I'm mad at you, hit man. Because you should have got a second opinion. You should have asked somebody. You should have did some Googling. Like, you should have really, like, looked into it when this nigga, like, is telling you that it's it's not ready and it's, it's not uploading and the monetization ain't right. That's probably what he hung his head on, the monetization shit. So, at some point, okay, Hitman probably was like, okay, all right. So, we're going to wait a little bit for it. Maybe I need more watch hours, whatever the case may be. All right, it is what it is. Let's just, you know what I mean? But this next battle, after this one, I needed to go on my channel, dummy. You feel me? Boom. Come time to put the put uh, uh, snake eyes and uh, bad news on, on bags and bodies. Bro, this got to be on bags and bodies. Uh, it, it, it's Something ain't right with it. It, it ain't uploading. You feel me? So, it, man, just, then they wind up putting it on this channel. All right, now. To, 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 to sum it all up, Hitman found out that Shorty was lying. That show was really lying, bro. This man putting money in your pocket, right? I think he filmed the event. Don't quote me on this. But if he did, if he if he did have Ivo filming the uh, uh filming the event, he paid you for that. I'm pretty sure he also was gonna compensate you for uploading the videos. You feel me? Nigga ain't gonna ask you to do something for free. Or maybe he was doing it for free. Cause 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 the way uh uh Hitman was speaking on it, he was like, you know what I mean? I, I thought he was trying to help. That nigga wasn't trying to help. That nigga was trying to capitalize, bro. But we gonna get to that. But so he, so the nigga, so he find out that that Avocado went through Quarter Lab or some kind of third party company dealing with YouTube and took ownership of the battles. So let's just say, let's say just in case, let's say just in case Hitman Holler felt like something was fishy and he was like, oh, you know what, I'm about to try to upload it myself. Well, I'm gonna get my man to upload it. It, it wouldn't work. It would kind of like. Confirm his story that something is wrong with his YouTube. You feel me? Like, what, what do you mean something is wrong with my YouTube? Anybody can upload a video, bro. That's why I say I'm kind of disappointed in Hitman Holla for not really. But you, you never know how busy the man was. You feel me? You niggas put too much trust in this fucking white boy, bro. I'm just going to keep it a bean with you. You feel me? Like, like, y'all put too much trust in this white boy. And when the nigga told you, like, like, the, I'm pretty sure Hitman was getting frustrated. Like, bro, I don't even care about the money, bro. I don't give a fuck about the money. Because you're telling me that I can't upload these videos because of the monetization. Fuck the monetization, bro. I just need them on my channel to build my platform up, bro. Everything need to be bags and bodies, bro. Like, he still ain't give a fuck. He still ain't give a fuck, bro. He was just trying to make money off them views because his channel monetized. And he knew he knew they was going to do numbers, bro. Like, he's a fucking snake, bro. He's a fuck. Ain't this the same nigga who got caught up in that racist video with the, what was the nigga name, 24-7? Or, what was the nigga name, bro? The other white boy where they was being racist as fuck. Didn't he have to come clear that up and apologize and he try to act like he's so humble and he's so kind and he's a fucking devil, bro. He's the devil. He's a fucking snake, bro. You feel me? God is real, bro. God is real. That's in the Bible, bro. It's nothing that's done in the dark that shall not be made manifest, bro. It's nothing that's hid that shall not be made known, bro. You're being exposed, bro. You try to... Technically robbed this nigga. That's technically what you did, bro. You technically made money off of his product, bro. When you probably, not probably, you was already compensated for your work. You trying to get extra money, bro. You feel me? Like, that's why I feel like, 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 it was disrespectful on so many levels. And I'm, I'm trying, I want to get to these notes, you feel me? Because y'all know one. <laughs> <laughs> it's lit, nigga. It's bright lights for this nigga. And I take it's bright lights for this nigga, bro. Like, it like, bro, cause you knew what he was trying to accomplish, bro. You knew he was trying to take this bags and body shit off the ground, bro. And he was trying to build up his YouTube channel, bro. So he went ahead to rely on a nigga like you. You feel me? So he went ahead to break bread with other motherfuckers because he 
I mean, his, 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 his platform ain't got much of an audience, so it would be more beneficial to put it on somebody else's YouTube channel. Like, you know what he was trying to do, bro, and you used it against him, bro. You used it against him. That's why I'm saying it was disrespectful on so many levels, bro. That shit was disrespectful on so many levels. Like, y'all be thinking we dumb, bro. You played with that man. You really thought like he's stupid or something, bro. You like y'all be really thinking niggas dumb. You, you, you told the man your YouTube channel ain't ready yet. You couldn't come up with a better excuse. You would have told me some shit like that. I'd have been like, "What do you mean my YouTube channel ain't ready yet? What do you mean I can't upload on my channel?" The only thing I ever got that stopped me from uploading is probably two things. One is if you get flagged. You feel me? And your shit is blocked from uploading for probably about a week or whatever it is, depending on what strike you got. And the other is. They say you got to verify your account in order to upload videos longer than 15 minutes. Other than that, if you, I can make a YouTube channel right now and upload whatever the fuck I want. Outside of having to verify my account to upload longer videos. That's YouTube 101. That's basic knowledge. You feel me? You just told a nigga, oh, it ain't ready yet. And then you probably came up with a better excuse with the monetization. You feel me? And then when a nigga told you, fuck the money, just upload the shit, you just, they blocked your channel. Your, your YouTube channel was blocked. What? Like, oh my God, bro. It's just thinking niggas dumb, bro. You feel me? Just like thinking niggas is stupid. And like I said, he prayed on that. It was like, it was like, it's kind of like, I know Hitman Holler ain't privy to this internet shit, like, you know, the technical stuff, like uploading videos and, you know, all that type of shit, you feel me, the, the dealing with the technology and all that shit, he probably like, yeah, I know this nigga ain't privy to it, so, he's probably never gonna catch up with me, he's probably never gonna figure out what I'm doing, I can just tell a nigga it's blocked and, he, he don't know, and if he do try to upload the videos, he's gonna see that it's blocked. How, uh, you gotta, you gotta think, like, you gotta just think about the mentality behind that and how cruel of a person you gotta be like you gotta really be a fucking snake bro like to really to damn near copyright somebody else's material bro that's essentially what he did bro you took ownership of this man property of this man content just so you can make a couple extra dollars on youtube so you're gonna fuck up your future endeavors with this man you could have possibly made more Money in the future with this man on bags and bodies too. Or maybe he want to hire you for something else. A bags and bodies, a, a battle rap event or anything. Because you, you're the main nigga everybody go to. You know what I mean? You je you, you was willing to jeopardize that for a few extra dollars on YouTube. Then it's like you obviously ain't got no respect for this nigga. You feel me? You clearly think you're going to get away with it. You obviously think the nigga's stupid. Like, stop what you doing. But no, that's what you get. You niggas put so much trust and faith in this fucking white man. Typical white man shit. You know? Typical white man shit. Shit crazy. That shit really got me mad, bro. Like, nigga really smile on your face. But then a whole snake behind your back, bro. That is petty, bro. Like, he broke bread with you. You still was willing to do that, bro. You a fucked up. You, oh, my God. But that's what happens when you let them into our shit, bro. When you invite them in our house, bro. They do this all the fucking time. You know how many horror stories these niggas got in the music industry? Getting robbed and deceived and tricked. These white motherfuckers don't be telling these young black artists uh, how to, about how to manage their money and how to do their taxes and how uh, beneficial and lucrative their publishing can be in the future and why you shouldn't sell your masters. They don't tell them none of that shit, bro. They just offer them a shitload of money and, and, and then, you know what I mean? They try to get niggas. They be dicking niggas, bro. That's why I said typical white man shit. This is what y'all do, bro. You feel me? It's a shame that niggas gotta actually go through something like this to know you can't trust these motherfuckers. In him specifically. You feel me? Like, and that's what I'm saying. This is why you gotta know your shit. Hitman, I fuck with you. I'm mad that this fucking devil did this shit. But this is why you gotta know your shit, bro. Because niggas will prey on your ignorance, bro. 
And ignorance meaning not to know. That's what the word ignorant means, not to know. Like, niggas will prey on your ignorance, bro. Who knows how long he been plotting this, bro. He probably was plotting this shit the entire time. He probably created your channel for you. Like, niggas don't be right, bro. Like, man. <laughs> man. Niggas don't be right. Nigga really took ownership of this man's shit, bro. He's the fucking devil, bro. He's the fucking devil, bro. And God is real, bro. Because what goes around comes around, bro. Real shit. Really try to play that man. And, you, and, 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 and nigga, he gonna really expose you. I mean, I just heard a little space. He was talking a little bit about it. He ain't really go in depth in depth. You feel me? But I could just read between the lines. And no, he don't fuck with you. And you, you, you made some people mad, bro. You feel me? Like, y'all don't fucking learn, bro. <laughs> y'all just think niggas stupid. You feel me? So why your dumb ass gonna get flamed now, bro? And bet not none of you niggas come to his rescue. Because there's always that one tap dancing nigga that wanna come save the white man. You niggas been doing this going all the way back to slavery time. Being a bunch of house niggas and, oh, I gotta protect master. Please don't swing at master. I don't wanna hear none of you niggas come out there trying to save avocado. Because when the shit happened, when he got exposed for being in that racist video, making racist jokes and laughing and, you feel me, being a disgusting fucking caveman, here come the deal. Oh, I will wear racist. I will call him racist. I've known him for years. And he's the best white guy I know. And he's so respected. And don't, none of you niggas come put the cape on, you feel me? Because you niggas don't do that for your own people. You niggas be so in a rush to come save the fucking white man. You niggas got a Stockholm Syndrome. You feel me? You niggas got a slave mentality. You don't even know it. Like, fuck out of here, man. It's big L's in this bitch. You mad or not? Goofy ass nigga.